nutrition in plants so this is the topic of our today's chapter nutrition in plants first of all you should be knowing what do you mean by nutrition but before nutrition there comes a term which is nutrient now in your sixth class you have already read about components of food components of food what are the components of food nutrients are the components of food which a living organism takes from its surrounding and utilizes it for energy for carrying out different life processes as well as for growth and repair of its body parts so nutrients as you have read in your class that can be carbohydrates you have read in your sixth class carbohydrate is a nutrient then we have fats then we have vitamins then we have proteins minerals along with this there are other components also it can be uh, like roughage also as well as some amount of water all these are the components of food but all are not considered as nutrient now the process of taking these nutrients the process by which a living organism take these nutrients is called as nutrition this so here in this chapter we are reading about how the plants they take the nutrients from its surrounding and then how they utilize these nutrients for their own life processes then we have the modes of nutrition modes modes means the ways by which an organism takes its own food now here there we have two modes of nutrition in our syllabus one is autotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition is shown by certain organisms and then we have heterotrophic mode of nutrition these are the two main modes of nutrition which we are going to discuss in this chapter now autotrophic mode of nutrition this mode of nutrition is carried out by the organisms which have ability to produce their own food like auto means self and trophic means to synthesize so the organisms which are having ability to produce their own food they utilize autotrophic mode of nutrition and these organisms are called as autotrophs autotrophs is the term used for the organisms which are showing autotrophic mode of nutrition and what comes in this basically plants come in this category because plants have the ability to produce their own food so plants are the most common autotrophs which are present on our planet earth then we have heterotrophic mode of nutrition details of these we'll be doing later in the chapter this is just a brief overview hetero means other and trophic means to synthesize now it means the organisms which are not having ability to synthesize their own food but depend on other organisms for food those are called as heterotrophs and they adopt heterotrophic mode of nutrition now what comes in this in this basically we have animals and human is also a social animal so human being is also considered in this category only that it is showing heterotrophic mode of nutrition now there comes a question in your mind that human being is preparing its own food like we prepare food in the kitchen but no that is not called as the mode of nutrition already prepared material we are using as ingredient and then we are cooking the food we are not synthesizing the food we are just cooking the food so we are not considered in the category of 
autotroph we will be considered as heterotroph so broadly we have two modes of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition then heterotrophic mode of nutrition and about this we will be reading in detail in the chapter now